Hey gum people and horsey people. <laughs> this is a great video, man. If you guys haven't watched this, this is pretty cool. All the flat offers that think we've never been on the moon won't want to watch this. But uh, I think this is just cool as crap. So this is from 2012. Here's the name. Departing Space Station Commander provides tour of the, basically the whole damn uh, space station. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I like her. She's got a good attitude. She's kind of funny. Uh, she jumps and flies around. I mean, I'll play a little clip of it, but if you want to go watch, I think a good video is 25 minutes. She gives a hell of a tour of the space station. This is Columbus, the European module. It has science experiments all over. You could see it looks a little bit crowded. Um, of course, most of these modules, you'll see they have four sides. Uh, either a one to do is turn yourself and your reference changes. The reason I'm bringing that up is because this is where four out of six of us sleep. And so people always ask about sleeping in space. Do you lie down? Are you in a bed? Um, not really, because it doesn't matter. You don't really have the sensation of lying down. You just sit in your sleeping bag. So here's one sleep station right here. I'm going in right now. You can follow me if you want. It's sort of like a little phone booth. Uh, have a sort of in any orientation. I have. It doesn't matter if I have it. I don't have any sensation. <laughs> I can't get over it Tells me that I'm time, upside down, so it really doesn't hair. matter. <laughs> The sleep station is also like a little office. We've got a computer, some clothes. I want to get to the part where she comes out. There's one on the ceiling. It's four. On the other wall, over here. There's more to show you. So this is the out. This is the incoming commander, and she's probably showing him, and he's videotaping. Her. This is pretty freaking cool. I had no clue. They have workout equipment, and they have to have it on kind of neutral things, because if you get on here and pedal, you create forces that can move this whole damn space shuttle, or the uh, space station around, so it's got to be able to move. It can't be locked down. I thought that was interesting and cool as hell. You more, you know, propeller head scientific types will probably get it, but I never really thought about it. I was like, oh, so what? You get on a bike and you pedal. I mean, yeah, you create some forces, but how much can it be? It's enough to move the whole damn shuttle. Here we are in the U.S. laboratory. All sorts of stuff that we do. Um, and one of the things we also do is we exercise. We have some exercise equipment on board the space station. Um, we need to do that because we lose bone density and muscle mass while we're up here. And that's a result of not having to fight against gravity. So how we keep ourselves in shape are with a bike. This is cool. There's no seat on the bike. You don't sit down. <laughs> a treadmill and a weightlifting machine. This is the bike. You notice the clip pedals. So all you need to do is actually clip your feet in and then you can start pedaling. You don't need a seat because you don't sit down. Actually, I haven't sat down for six months now, so you don't need any any type of seat. Just make sure you're you're held in with your pedals. You probably see that the bike bounces around a little bit. As I move it, it's not steady and held to the wall firmly and the reason for that is the space station is pretty big you saw that there's also solar rays on the space station if we start putting any forces into the space station it's going to make those solar rays bounce around a little bit so to prevent that the machines bounce around a little bit move around a little bit and that way we don't put any forces onto the structure of the spacecraft out to the solar rays all right, a little farther on. Come on. How cool is that? Man, I just found this interesting. Other people that probably have seen this are like, this is old. I, I thought it was pretty great. <laughs> Here she talks about different food they got. Eggs, vegetables, cereals, uh, bread, uh, snacks. And that's a good place. That's where you find all the candy. Uh, side dishes and then some little power bars just in case. So we have all this type of food. Some of it is dehydrated. And so we have to hydrate it, fill it up with water. Some of it is all ready made. And then all we have to do is heat it up. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket. Pretty yummy. <laughs> Not only is this food made in the US, but we also have food here from Japan. Uh, we've got Russian food. As you can see, all these red containers are filled with food that's from Russia. 
Um, and then we get some of our specialty stuff, some things that we like, some of our favorite stuff that your family can send up. In fact, I like fluffernutters, and so I got sent up some fluff so I could make I didn't look that up. I don't have any idea what that is. I've never heard of it. But maybe if somebody knows what it's used for or what it is, <laughs> I was too lazy to Google it. My fluffernutter with peanut butter. So you have a lot of food up here. No problems. Thing outside. Uh, I'm trying to get to where she does here. her superwoman. It was pretty it's like funny. This thing. All the time we get to talk to you. Uh, it's your own. This is awesome. Well, this is where she talks about the bathroom and all the different types of toilet paper. This is a pretty good video. I mean, if you want to watch something, I found it very interesting. I know a lot of people, I got good comments on my little uh, thing. She's lifting weights there. Um, oh, maybe this is our Superman area. Like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a good attitude. I like her. She's pretty funny. <laughs> We're lucky we have a really cool big space station that you can fly around in. That's actually called the PMM. You might have Okay, so if y'all want to go watch this, I would recommend it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I thought it was thinking cool as hell. All right, we'll end that there.